If police flag you down, pull over immediately, turn off your car, and place your hands on the wheel. The police like to see your hands for their own safety, so wait until they request your paperwork before reaching for it. At night, it's also a good idea to turn on the interior light so that the officer can see you're not armed. Darren, do you see any ways you could have handled yourself better? Good evening, officer. How's it going? Did you know you were swerving between lanes? No, officer. Let me see your license and registration. Sure. My license. Here's my registration. Now, Darren, we've had some problems with gangs moving guns down this highway. You're not packing any Tech Nines, are you? No, sir. I didn't think so. So you don't mind if I take a look, do you? Officer, I know you're just doing your job. I don't have any guns or whatever, but I don't consent to searches. Perfect. Rule number three, you have the right to refuse searches. This comes directly from the Fourth Amendment. For your Fourth Amendment protection to legally apply, you must be prepared to clearly state your refusal under pressure. Everyone repeat after me. I don't consent to searches. I don't consent to searches. The officers can't hear you, so say it again. I don't consent to searches. One more time. I don't consent to searches. You a law student or something? So if I show that I know the rules, he might think I'm a law student. Or maybe I got big legal connections. Perhaps. But don't get carried away by saying stuff like, I know my rights, my Get out of my face, I'm going to sue you. Never tell the officer you know your rights. Show the officer you know your rights by asserting them calmly. You seem nervous. Is there anything in this car I need to know about? No, officer. All right. Please step out of the vehicle. Police may legally order you out of your vehicle, so you should comply. Walk back here with me. Yeah. Stand right here for me. Now, you got two choices. You can make this better or worse for yourself. Now, if you cooperate, it's going to make things a lot easier on you. Beware Understand? that the police Understand. may legally lie to you, so never let false threats or promises trick you into waiving your rights. Now, if you don't, I'm going to call up a canine unit, and those dogs are going to rip apart your car. They're going to find what you're hiding. So what's it going to be? Refusing a search request is not evidence of guilt and doesn't give the officer the legal right to search or detain you. Don't get tricked. Unless you're detained or arrested, you may terminate the encounter at any time, but don't wait for the officer to dismiss you. Simply ask if you're free to go. There and those dogs are going to rip apart your car, and they're going to find what you're hiding. Like I said, what's it going to be? Officer, are you detaining me, or am I free to go? Good. This line can help withdraw you from an encounter. Saying you want to leave establishes that the encounter is not voluntary, which could help you later if you end up in court. Let's practice that line. Everyone repeat after me. Are you detaining me, or am I free to go? Are you detaining me, or am I free to go? One more time. Are you detaining me, or am I free to go? All right. You want to play it like that? You want to bump it up to the next level? Fine. You stay right here. Don't go anywhere. Asserting your rights won't make the police love you, but it might make them extra cautious about violating your rights. Darren, this is a citation for excessive lane changing. Take care of that as soon as possible. Thank you, officer.